Hi guys, Brad here from That Brick Builder. So, anyone who regular viewer of the channel knows that we normally have a ladder shelf here and then my Las Vegas uh, artwork there. And the reason why they're down and why we've got some sets on the floor is because it's construction day. We have got the Billy bookcases here, one of four that are going up. One more going in the Lego room, just here. And then there'll be three upstairs in my office as well. So the ones upstairs in the office are mainly for storage, but also displaying some of the other sets. And then we'll think about the layout of this room as well as part of the rebuild of this cabinet. Should hopefully make everything look a little bit neater in here um, and reduce some of the bunching that we've got in some of these shelves. And also hopefully we can go chronologically now first film Harry Potter all the way across um, and have it displayed in like chronological order which should be nicer to display and also should tell the stories of the film a little bit better so we're gonna get building now see how this goes uh we've got four of them to do they're quite simple builds but they're awkward so let's see how it goes the construction has begun I'm going to take you downstairs um because I realized I'll start to build and then I forgot to do an update. So gonna head down, more Lego. So we've finished this room now uh, in terms of it. We just need to put the uh, Oxbird doors on. Um, so I'm gonna spin it round and we'll have a look. So you can see these are clear. Um, and then we've started to populate these shelves up here, Toy Story, a uh, bit of mix of Disney 100 and just some Lego City and kind of brand store. And then I've got my vehicles back in there. And all we've done is push this architecture tower kind of over. So the plan in this room anyway, is we're gonna start right at the top and we're gonna do chronological order of the Harry Potter films all the way down and then see if we use the whole cabinets. The Christmas is probably gonna go here at the bottom of that. Um, and these, um, like sitcoms are going to come up in the office um, where I work, freeing up more space for Harry Potter. So we can have a real focused Harry Potter. We're going to have storage in the cabinet. So all of this Lego that sat here making a mess of the Lego city is going to disappear. So that's all good. And it means we can actually start to think about the Lego city as a city and not as a workstation. You can see here we've got the box is ready to go, got shelves ready to go. The old Calyx units are on their way out. Coming into the office, which is where we are, and we are starting on this billy. We've got three billies here. Um, they're gonna be going along this wall, all along here to get to where my desk is there. It's gonna be really good. Two of them are gonna have uh, half glass and half solid doors, and one of them is gonna be all glass. So it should be a really nice feature as well. So. We'll get some progress and then I'll probably catch up with you once we've got all three built. So we're coming into the room and I said I'd give you an update. There we go. Three cabinets in there, Billy bookcases. Um, these are done now. Um, we're just filling them up. Doors go on probably tomorrow or over the weekend and then they'll be done. Uh, but we'll spin round and I'll tell you what they're going to look like. So you can see this one is going to be storage on the bottom half. And then what you're going to find is um, there'll be display on the top half. This one's going to be a full display cabinet all the way up, all the way down. And this one again is going to be storage and then display. And so what we'll do is um, you're going to have a full glass cabinet here and then half and half on these ones. So it should look really good. It means we can store all of the Lego uh, parts inventory in there. And we've got these new IKEA tubs, which are great, stackable with lids, slightly different to the uh, B&M ones. Um, and they're in this nice like, translucent black as well. Um, and then you've got these ones down here, which are the ones we got from B&M. Looking forward to moving some things around now. Uh, and uh, having uh, a new kind of expansion to the Lego room. Also, 
because I use the Philips Hue system in my house, it means I'll flick on the lights there. There we go, it's bright. It means that I can hide the light fitting behind this wall and have it here. So it means I can have this all the way up to the wall, which has been great because it only just fits here. And I've still got a bit of room around my desk, um, but that allows me to do that. And also sneak preview and not finished it yet because it's missing a few pieces. Second edition Hogwarts Express going to be added to the collection soon. Only one more uh, piece left until we finish the Prisoner of Azkaban. I've got a new lamp as well. Um, Prisoner of Azkaban range of Lego Harry Potter. So uh, that will mean we're on to the Goblet of Fire. Anyone who knows about Goblet of Fire sets, they're really expensive. The Goblet of Fire range and the Order of the Phoenix Castle, the only one in that range, I think it was 2000 and 10 ish maybe uh really expensive so those five sets that come out in those range uh, you probably got about a thousand pounds just from those five sets so um yeah yeah we'll see how that goes but we're going quite well we'll do some more moving so so this cupboard is the first one we're going to tackle you can see we've created some space down here now uh probably what we're going to do um is my hair is fluffy until I've been at work all day and not done it. Um, so probably going to use this table as a kind of staging area for moving things. Just because we're going to have to move quite a lot of things within the cabinets. And so it's probably easier to have it all there. Um, the first thing that we're going to move is the TV show themes. Because they're going upstairs. And so we may as well just get them out right now. Um, and so we'd have to worry about them uh, taking up space. Um, so yeah, let's crack on with that. I've also, in the probably the next update, I'll show you some things I got from the Lego store in Leicester Square. If you've not seen my YouTube short, check that out. Went there the other day again. I got um, two of the new Disney 100s minifigs and also got Leicester. Anyone who's not from the UK, uh, it's in Leicester Square. Um, and they've got a character called Leicester, unique to the Leicester Square store, I think, the minifig. So I'll show you that as well. So... We're going to move some stuff now and let's see how it goes. Right, I'm calling it a day so far on the project. But I said I would show you these and also I'll just do a quick update on progress. Uh, it's nearly 10 o'clock here in the UK now, night time. It's dark outside and I'm tired, been at work all day. So I'm going to show you these. I'm going to show you our progress and we'll continue this tomorrow. We'll do progress first. So you'll see I've now spaced it out a lot better in the cabinets. It's just a lot neater. I've put the mini figs onto the mini fig stands. I think that makes a massive difference. And we're going to do it chronologically by film. So before this Chamber of Secrets sets, we're just with the sets as well. And I just quite like the idea of them being in film order, not necessarily in set order because we've got spacing issues that we need to do, but I'm really pleased how they've come out. So now, in the most annoying way, well, should we do it on the Billy bookcase? Um, I don't know how I'm gonna hold this, so what no, I'll do. I'll cut, I'll unwrap them, and then we'll start again. Right, so there's Lester. Um, you can see he's unique to the Leicester Square store, I think, but he's going to go somewhere in the Lego City. And I only got two of these, and I'm probably going to end up collecting them all, but there they are. I think my favourite thing on this is Pinocchio's nose. It's actually a 3D nose. It sticks out just like Pinocchio's. So they're the two that I got from the Disney 100 minifigures. There's 18 to collect. I'm probably going to collect them all, knowing what's happening here. They'll end up in the Disney cabinet for now and then they'll have their own space. And Lester, we just need to find a place for him in the Lego City. But yep, yeah, good progress made today. Christmas is moving out at the bottom. All this newer Lego is going over there. Probably going to start having Chamber of Secrets under there. Prisoner of Azkaban there. Space for Goblet of Fire. Then the Order of the Phoenix. Definitely Hallows. And then we continue. And then we need to think about what to do with this cabinet eventually. I think I'm going to have it as a, 
a Disney focus uh, next to the awesome architecture range. But lots of progress made, more progress to be made tomorrow, getting them all on these awesome minifig stands just really makes it more, just a nicer way of displaying a collection. What do you think? We'll continue tomorrow. Day two of the tidy up. Um, we've got all the cabinets open. You can see, I'm gonna back up without taking myself out. We've got all of the first two films there. That's, uh, and a tiny bit up at the top. Then we've got the third film, space for Lupin's classroom there, which we still haven't got. Just finished down there. Space at the bottom, two shelves areas for the Goblet of Fire. Big space at the top for the Order of the Phoenix. Then we've got some of the Revival series there, some spare ones here, um, and a bit more down there. And that is those three cabinets with, I think, basically the first series and a tiny bit of the Revival series of Harry Potter Lego. Um, and then we've got the Disney, Pixar, and then some of the Lego City cars as well. Um, so I'm going to put some shelves in for Christmas now in this one, just because may as well display it. Um, and then we're going to move some minifigures upstairs uh, and then have a bit of a rethink about how I want to do my cabinets upstairs. Hopefully we can get some doors in soon, uh, which will finish it, stop the dust getting in. But we're making good progress. The table's a bit of a mess once again, but it's because it's a work in progress. Um, but yeah, it's looking good uh, compared to what it was. There's order to it now, which is how I want my collection to be. If anyone comes and looks at it, I can go through it series by series. So going well, get some more shelves in for Christmas. Um, and yeah, and it's shown me where I've got my gaps in the collection as well. So final video done. Going to get this edited now so you can see storage. Sitcoms have moved, some books there, another shelf. So a bit of a mix of Lego in my office and other other artifacts and things like that. But yeah, if you like this, uh, want to see what we've, else we've got planned. We've got loads more storage now in the Lego room um, So and upstairs so we can do more things. Hope you like the video. Uh, remember, like and comment and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. Thanks very much. See you soon.